Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. Now in this video, we will be seeing how do we actually create a test case using Selenium IDE. As we are aware that Selenium IDE is a record and play feature, so not much needed. These would be the steps that we that we need to follow to create a particular test case. Now the very first one is recording and adding commands in a test. The pane that was shown in the previous video was having the test case pane. In that pane, in that particular pane, we actually record and the commands are added itself. After this, we save the recorded test case. After saving, we actually need to save the entire suit that is available. And after this, when, when once we are done done with saving the, the entire test case, we simply you know go to the play button and here we can either play the entire test suit or we can play a particular test case. After this, we would be able to see in the logs what all test cases have been executed and what all test cases have failed. Now, let us quickly go to our screens and see the entire process of creating a test case on Selenium ID. So, before we get started creating a test case, the very first step would be to open up our Mozilla Firefox. So, this is my Mozilla Firefox and it has been successfully opened up onto my system. Now what I do is I go to the menu option and here I choose Selenium ID. So this is the ID that has been shown up. What I'll do is I'll quickly record a test case, whichever test case I want to op you know start with. So I've opened up this point.com. On this website, I actually go to a Google Maps tutorial for say. Now I go to the next page. So now let us see if all these cases are getting recorded. So here, now the Selenium ID is recording all of these test cases one by one. Now, now what I'll do is from this one, I'll land to the home page of tutorials point, and now I will go to Node.js tutorial. So again, navigate down to the next page. So now, like I have reached here to the node.js npm and my test cases should be successfully recorded over here, right? So what I'll do is, let us start and play this test case. Nothing much has been done till now. We have simply recorded a test case and now planning to play it. So I reach to the, to the home page to this point. I reach to the Google Maps uh, first page. Then I click go to the second tutorial that is Google Maps getting started. Then I go to the maps types, right? After this, I go down to the next that is the zoom tutorial. From here, I should land down to the home page of this point and then I come, come down to the Node.js introduction tutorial, right? So now if you look at it properly, all of these, you know, cases are getting run successfully one by one. Now what all test cases are being run, we can actually understand all of these things from here by this point that you know that what all cases are executing first. First of all, it got started with playing the test case which is named as untitled. Then I click on open. After that, I click on this particular image. I click and wait. Then I go to the click and wait and on the next page click and wait and I again go on to the next page. So all these next page are basically links and are referencing to a particular tutorial that we opened up onto our application, right? So now with this, you know, like it is very simple. The main target over here is to record a test case and run it, right? If in case you want to, you know, have a particular uh, element search like okay now what what we'll do is we will open up another page and now we'll record another test case i record over here right now i'll go to the website that is google.com now here i'll click on the sign in option right i type here selenium now it is asking me for the password now what i'll do is what all if this case whatever has been recorded now i want to play it again. Let, it, let me try. Now what I, I want to run this particular case. Now after I'm done with the recording till the next point I again click on record and here I go to sign in using a different and I ask create account. So what I'm trying to do is actually I'm trying to you know play up with this particular page and understand the flow. 
I want to name. I am creating a new account. I type it here as Aditya. Right? See, the case has been recorded. Now let me run this particular case for you once again. So if you look properly beneath that, this case has been registered. So if you look here, you are able to see that there's some backdrop coming on this particular element. Why is it so? Because we didn't clear this element first, right? So what we can do is we can copy this test case and can paste it. First I'll pass this over here. Now let me run this case again. So this is the first step in which we are playing a particular test case. Now what we will do is we will play the entire test suit. So it, it will open up the, the tools point website first then it will go next to the Google page wherein we would be trying to sign in and we we'll try to create a new account. Till the time it is executing the test case let us monitor the logs one by one you know as and when they are getting created see. So you know you are just sitting back and relaxing and the Selenium is actually you know automating or it is running the test case for you. So like it is going next one by one, one after the other and if you see that the test case has been passed and it has started playing the other test case. There are two runs and no failures and you know test suit completed, two played, all passed. Isn't this very easy? We are actually just simply sitting back and relaxing and Selenium is actually playing the test case for us. right? So this makes our work a bit easier. Let me show you all these logs one by one, you know how they are getting started. So like all these commands that have been there are successfully recorded under the logs. So if in case you doubt that, you know, your test case has been recorded or not or it is it playing successfully or not, you can simply do this by going to this particular option of the logs and can run and check that, you know, what is the ratio of how your test case is getting executed. Now what I'll do is I'll save the test suit. I named the test suit as test suit 1. It is asking me how do you want to save the test case 2. So first, so so what I've got is I've got two test cases which are running over here. I'm trying to run again and this is the name of the suit that is test suit 1.html and in this suit I'm having two test cases. Uh, I have named one as test, uh, test suit 1 and the other is test case 2. So let me show you how it is actually getting, you know, uh, the entire, this UI, how it is getting populated. The entire UI is working over here. It is actually trying to get that, you know, what are the elements. So it is actually asking that, okay, what do you want to open up? It is actually based on the base URL that you are passing and the base URL is passed over here, right? And then all your commands that were there in this table are actually placed into this three layer or three columns for particular test case like this is the click and wait the command the target and the value is passed over here like if you see here here the command is type the value it is to be typed in the first name the locator and whatever value you want to type over here is shown here so guys, this was all about, you know, how do you actually record a particular test case from your Selenium ID, you know. Now, stay tuned as we will be actually debugging this test case when we uh, come to the next video. Thank you guys for tuning in.